Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to remove echo from your audio. So I have our Outlander TV series, which is, it's a four episode show. And I have this clip that has uh, quite significant echo in it. I was going to be a real estate agent and then the textbook is like, <laughs> like that. So I use a plugin that's called Echo Remover AI from Crumple Pop. It's not free. Uh, it's $99. Um, it has a demo, so you can download the plugin, try it on your clip, and if it works well enough, uh, pay later. I'm not affiliated with them. I'm not making this video for them. They don't know I'm making it at all. Uh, it's just something that helped me a lot. You, of course, can do it manually, uh, probably working with Equalizer, but this was a very quick solution. So once you apply to your audio clip the plugin, it will automatically uh, review the data and remove the echo so once it's analyzed the data on uh, in an audio clip it will remove as much echo as possible you can play around with these knobs but uh, usually the auto uh, the built-in functionality the way it finds out the echo is good enough so i'll turn it on and here's how it sounds with uh, echo removed i was gonna be a real estate agent and then the textbook is like <laughs> like that. It's like the biggest textbook I've ever seen. So again, without? Be a real estate agent, and then the textbook is like <laughs> like that. It's like the biggest textbook I've ever seen. And again, with? I was going to be a real estate agent, and then the textbook is like <laughs> like that. It's like the biggest textbook I've ever seen. So this is basically it. Just um, find Echo Remover AI Crumple Pop. I will also uh, include the link on the description below. Um, yes, it's not for free. You have to pay for it, but it saves so much time for me that it was totally worth it. Um, that's it. See you next week.